Hi guys, Blackbox here. In this video I'll show you how to use the weather radar system in the FS Labs A320. Um, please be aware that in this video I will not go into detail regarding the weather radar system itself. Um, in this video I'm just uh, showing you how to operate the weather radar um, with the add-on from Active Sky. In the last couple of days I've been able to test the weather radar system extensively and so here are my tips how to use it. Now normally you would have the weather radar system operate in the auto position however with the active sky add-on you will see that you get a lot of uh, ground echoes mixing in with the normal radar echoes. So there's really just one way to get rid of the ground echoes and that is to switch on the manual mode. Once you do that, you can set the tilt of the radar beam itself. And so depending on your present flight level, you can uh, play around with the tilt until you get a good and clear picture of the bad uh, weather cells ahead of you. In this example you can see that I changed the tilt a little bit and then I wait for one or two sweeps of the weather radar until the new picture develops. Usually when you have uh, very convective weather you will get isolated thunderstorms like the picture that you can see here. Um, very rarely you will get a so-called squall line where over hundreds of miles you can have one cell, one thunderstorm cell, right adjacent to the next one and uh, sort of building a wall ahead of you. Now that happens very very rarely. Now which is lucky because um, a squall line you will not be able to go through. You will have to divert um, for hundreds of miles if you're unlucky to circumnavigate um, that bad weather area. But uh, like I said, normally you will see isolated thunderstorms on your weather radar display and um, so you can uh, circumnavigate those uh, a lot more easily. Especially during a cruise flight, say at 35,000 feet, um, once you have a thunderstorm cell ahead of you, you can uh, take avoidance action very early on. Now, once you are in a descent towards your destination airport, um, things can get a lot more dynamic with respect to those uh, thunderstorms. Since we are using the manual mode, you will have to adjust the tilt during the descent yourself. Now, if you just leave the tilt, say, at uh, plus one degree all the time, the closer you get to the ground, the more ground echoes you receive. Now here I'm presently at about 19,000 feet and I've had to adjust the tilt to plus 1.6 degrees. When you descend further and uh, you see more ground echoes starting to appear, just tilt the radar up a few degrees more. Then wait uh, two or three sweeps until the picture clears again. Now, unfortunately, you have to repeat this process um, all the way down until you uh, reach the runway. Maybe in a future update, um, the automatic mode will work a little bit better. But at the moment, the only way to get a good uh, picture of the weather around you is to use the manual mode with the manual tilt. Now in manual mode you can also increase the gain. Now the gain knob adjusts the receiver sensitivity. So here you can see me turning down the gain and instantly you'll see that the echoes um, start to change. Now at lower altitudes the thunderstorm cells are more reflective and the weather display may have um, a tendency to show a lot of red spots. So by decreasing the gain manually, you can um, get a 
more realistic picture of the amount of precipitation in the lower part of those thunderstorms. So by slowly reducing the gain, the red areas will slowly turn to yellow, the yellow areas will turn to green and the green areas slowly will disappear. And then the remaining red areas are the areas that um, are the strongest parts of the cell and should be avoided um, at a great distance. Now here we are already at around 7000 feet and you can see that I've had to tilt the radar beam up by 10 degrees uh, to get a uh, good picture of the thunderstorm cells. So here I'm just about reaching 5000 feet and um, at the moment the tilt is up almost by the maximum amount of 15 degrees. Like I said, you have to play around with the tilt and uh, use it as uh, to the maximum extent as possible. Now, before I finish this video, one more note on uh, cruising at high altitudes. Obviously, due to the very cold temperatures at high altitude, all water particles will be frozen and therefore will be less reflective. Therefore, in the manual mode, increase the gain to maximum from time to time to get a better evaluation of the amount of precipitation in the clouds ahead of you. Okay, so this concludes the video um, on how to use the weather radar system. Like I said before, I'm uh, planning to do another video where I'll be uh, explaining a little bit more about how weather radar systems work in general. So for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.